at ShaneStars with DroidMotorX.com and 4.2.2 has been officially released. If you're like me, you have a Verizon Galaxy Nexus and your Verizon Galaxy Nexus is officially four builds behind. I know, it sucks, but uh, thanks to the development community, we do have a 4.2.2 stock ROM that you can flash now over any build. Uh, developer MWalt took Big Shay's GSM version and made that function perfectly on our Verizon phones. So we'll get all of the functionality, all the bug fixes from 4.2.2 and the extra functionality, I think Bluetooth and Wi-Fi toggles are there and that's pretty much about it. Uh, but you'll be able to get that from this ROM that I'm showing you guys. I just want to show you real quick that I'm not on that build, but we're going to update there. So, currently I'm running Paranoid Android 3. If I wanted to accept the over-the-air update, well, first of all, I wouldn't be able to because I'm on a Verizon phone. Uh, second of all, I'd have to flash back to stock first, and then I could install the update. Uh, we won't have to do that here. All we have to do is... Let's see, I'm going to show you guys real quick that I'm on 4.1.2, uh, signage and mod, AOKP, and we'll just go ahead and boot into recovery. And we will flash this ROM just like any other ROM. Very simple, very easy, and we'll get our 4.2.2 update probably six months before Verizon can put it out. So big shout outs to MWalt. For his development on this device keeping our phones relevant even though Verizon discontinued them okay so once we're booted into recovery it's real simple we'll just install this like any other ROM we're gonna wipe factory reset swipe to wipe back cache swipe to wipe back Dalvik cache swipe to wipe and then we'll go to install we'll go to our download folder if you download it directly to your phone that's where it'll be we're looking for the big Shay MWalt 2 Toro JDQ 39.zip and we'll flash that. This includes the GF so we don't have to flash those separately. Uh, this is basically just a stock image that's been pulled from a GSM variant of the Galaxy Nexus and it's been made to function properly on our Verizon Galaxy Nexus. So big shout outs to MWalt 2 for making that happen. Big shout outs to Big Shea for pulling the over the air from his GSM device and making a ROM for the GSM variant. So as soon as this flashes, we'll go ahead and reboot the device. Okay, so once we're finished, we will be greeted with a successful screen. We'll just go ahead and reboot the system. And we're now running Android 4.2.2 on our Verizon Galaxy Nexus several months before we'll ever get it from Verizon, if that even happens. But anyways, guys, this has been a quick how-to guide on how to get to 4.2.2. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Verizon Galaxy Nexus and all the other phones that I cover. Um, you can find more of me at DroidModerX.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.